excluded. By the way, you will no longer find, uh, find Mark Condit's Facebook page if, in fact, you were going to go try and look for it. It was taken down, in fact, just a few hours after police closed in on him late last night. Our I-team spent the day, make that early this morning, our I-team spent the day researching what is left of Condit's online presence, though, and spoke to a friend of his from high school, investigative reporter Ginger Allen in Dallas. Ginger, what have you learned? Well, a recent SMU graduate tells us that Condit came from a happy, healthy, loving family. He says he was not evil, but he was headstrong. Dallas resident Jeremiah Jensen woke up Wednesday morning to text messages telling him that his friend from back home is the Austin serial bomber and was now dead. It's heartbreaking to know that someone that I was close with for a time in my life uh, went down this path. Authorities have not revealed a motive for Condon's reign of terror. Online, the bombing suspect had few Facebook friends and left an overall small social media footprint. He was not, however, shy about blogging his conservative views on gay marriage, abortion, and other hot button issues as part of a community college government class six years ago. Mark was very smart. He was incredibly deep thinker. Jensen and Condit went to church together in Pflugerville, just north of Austin, where they were both homeschooled. Jensen said his friend could at times be rough around the edges, but never violent. When I think about the guy that I knew four or five years ago, I do not think of a serial murderer. Um, I think of a, um, a guy who loved his family and who loved God um, and was curious. About, about life and, and the deeper things. If anything, Jensen said, he fears the serial bombings could have been done out of desperation. I suspect that um, this had more to do with, with loneliness and isolation, um, maybe confusion than it did hatred. You know, in these times that we live in, like it, a lot of people are dealing with a lot of pain and a lot of confusion, wondering what's going on in the world. And as Jason Allen just told you, investigators are still in Austin removing explosives from Condit's home. His friend tells us he was mechanically minded, but he never saw him as a mad bomber. Live in Dallas, I'm Ginger Allen, CBS 11 News.